Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, I create videos about journaling, design, and planning. And today, I wanted to bring back a mainstay in my channel, a good old chatty video. We've been calling these stationary chats, and it's just a fun time to journal, do some planning, or any creative projects while chatting with you all. And today, I am working in my December daily project. If you don't know what December Daily is, it's a month-long journaling challenge where you basically just journal leading up to Christmas. But for me, I've tweaked it and many other creators have tweaked this, you know, challenge to fit their needs and to fit the holidays that they celebrate in December. I celebrate Christmas and so I am going to be journaling up until the 25th and continuing my challenge all the way till the end of December and the end of 2023. So this project is very time consuming because you're journaling daily even though i like to say that i journal daily or I, that i have a daily journal i don't actually physically open up my notebook and write and journal about my thoughts and my day every single day um, i want to i try to but that's not always the case and so uh, december daily is a time to kind of engage in that activity and try to you know set my keep up with your journal every day but obviously for me that's not possible and for a lot of people that's not possible and so i've been working on this steadily but not i would say not at the optimum way that i would like to but that's okay because the holidays are a busy time and for me this december has been particularly busy because i flew back home for the holidays actually um if you haven't you know been on this channel before haven't um you know watched any of the videos in the past few months i actually moved to um uh, i was gonna say move to denmark i was like no i haven't <laughs> um, i actually moved to um the united states for work um i am based in the los angeles area uh or like socal basically and i uh work for design fill america now it's weird to say it because i've been kind of beating around the bush but honestly we're just chatting and just catching up so yeah i've been working um at design fill for about one quarter now so i start actually maybe a little bit more maybe like half a year but it technically it's just feels like it's been a quarter um i moved in august um but started pretty much working um in september um and it's been a whirlwind it's kind of actually that's just like an understatement it's like upended and totally changed my life um some of you might know that i used to be a uh, teacher and um an elementary school teacher specifically a special ed teacher um so it's been a really big change because now i'm working for one of my dream companies travelers company and plotter usa and so it's really wild to think that in 2023 all of that happened and so um i've been kind of uh feeling a little bit odd in a good way um to be back home because it feels so natural being back in vancouver and it makes me miss um my family here my friends and also um my old job of teaching actually the first thing i did when i got back from the holidays is actually to visit my old school and honestly just thinking about it makes me want to cry because i miss my work fam there so much like i think about them almost daily they are my roman empire <laughs> um but i miss like the day-to-day -day of that job too so it's really kind of bittersweet being here because it reminds me of the life that i have known for five-ish years in vancouver ever since moving back from korea and yeah it's it's weird it feels odd but in a in the same sense i guess i would say that i'm very thankful that i have this opportunity to pursue one of my dreams which is to do something a little bit more design oriented and um to follow this creative career um so it's been really really exciting and i've been trying to document my process and my move through videos you as you've seen on the channel on patreon through vlogs and through my journals so i've been really really into journaling a lot again which is so good because i like many other people go through phases of like being so into like documenting my life and then some 
you know, some years, some months, it just feels like you could care less. But I'm in like the very invested stage of my journaling, I guess, phase um, where I feel like I really need to write every day to get all of my emotions down and to make the most of all the memories that I've made. And so um, December daily is weird because I was so regular with my journaling. Then when December hit, I kind of hit a wall because of, you know, all the fun December things that happen, like seeing people, seeing friends and family. And so with as events and things get busier, I realized that writing is the thing that I give up most. But collaging, I seem to like be pretty good at like in terms of keeping up because um i don't know i love going home after an event and just like pasting random tickets or like things i've picked up along the way like ephemera into my journal for this day we were journaling about december 9th and the 10th and i decided to do like a two page spread for both of those days so not a dedicated full spread for each day um, and I didn't have any ephemera, but when this happens, I'm like, yeah, I can get, use my scrap paper stash. And so I've had this like sunflower paper here. Actually, I haven't even told you what's happening on the screen. Sorry, but that was a little bit of a life update. Uh, but yeah, I am using this sunflowery paper that I have. And I got some lovely mail from my friend VA. Um, and I also got some mail from Abby. And I think you'll see some of the... Um, PET tapes from Abby in this and a lot of cool collage bits from VA. I've never tried anything like this before. You can see it looks like a PET tape, but it's actually a printed vellum. So it's nice because you can add your own adhesive. And I just love playing around with vellum. I haven't layered with vellum in a while, but I think I want to explore that again in 2024. Um, because like I said in many videos, I think I had, I tend to enjoy putting um, like flatter elements on the spread. Like I'll end up just adding, uh, for example, like uh, ephemera and like gluing it down instead of opting to tipping it in, which just means you're gonna like put a piece of washi so you can flip to see the back side of it. Um, but yeah, I decided that um, well, I've been, I realized that I've been gluing things down instead of tipping things in, which, you know, I, uh, need to be mindful of because it's nice to change things up. Um, while I was rambling about tipping in, <laughs> um, I realized that I grabbed this long, uh, standing piece of ephemera that I've had in my collection for a long time. It's the packaging for my leather coaster, the black one that I just showed you. And I didn't buy this coaster recently, but... I just wanted to, to use it. You know when you have some ephemera that you've been hoarding for the longest time and you're like, oh, I'm going to save it for a rainy day when it's applicable. But, the, you know, there's really no true uh, right day to use it. Every day is the right day to use your stationery, right? And so um, I finally glued that down. It felt good. And then these are the PET tapes from my friend Abby, my Capricorn bestie. Um, I'm so proud of the PET tapes that she made. They're so cute. This is like the fall one. She gave me a ton of samples and I've been keeping it with the cutest um, paper clip and I put my little bear charm on it um, from TRC. Um, I actually bought that a while back, but I brought it back to the States with me when I visited. I briefly visited home in October. I, found the cheapest flight it was like under 100 bucks um under canadian too that's cheap <laughs> that's like i think it was probably like 80 to 70 us dollars that's oh, such a good deal um so i went back home really quick to surprise my family and visit my best friend's son's first birthday um and that was really cool um but yeah i brought a lot of stationery back with me to um to socal and it's been nice using it so that's why i have my bear charm with me back in um socal and then i ended up using abby's pet tapes i really like the map piece that i use there and then i don't know i love ginkgo leaves like especially when they turn yellow in the fall it just reminds me of like living in korea and i i would always i don't remember where we were maybe where we were in busan when one year which is in um the south of south korea um and 
I don't know. I think there's like this special walkway that we walked through that had so many ginkulis, and we went during autumn, and they were all yellow, and it was really magical. Um, so every time I see ginkulis, it reminds me of like a magical autumn day in Korea. But um, I think that was it for my collaging, and then I did my journaling with my Twisby. This is not the sa- oh, this is the saffron. So the Twisby. Um, eco T, so that just means that the T means triangle or triangular, and that the grip uh, of this pen is more triangular. So if you've seen a Lamy Safari, um, it has a similar grip. A lot of people don't like the eco T from Twisby; they just like the regular eco because it has just a regular circular um, grip. But I don't mind it. I don't think I have the tripod grip that um, a lot of people have when they grasp their pen but i don't find it like awkward to hold but i really love twisbees um and especially twisby ecos and you know i once said that i wanted to collect every solid colored cap um or solid colored twisby eco but i've let go of that dream because there's so many (laughs) there's so many colors um i had my eye on like the rose gold indigo one that one's still really good i still want to buy that one the twisby eco heat can't believe i don't have that yet like that's an orange <laughs> it's a really bright orange and i really wanted that sunset uh, original orange from tokyo it's like a limited ed- edition one from many years back probably like 2018 i think um i can't find it anywhere it's like and if you do it's usually like three or four hundred dollars um still want that but i'm letting go of that Cream, kind of and then um the saffron which i have which i'm writing with um this is filled with taisenji yellow kobe uh from kobe nagasawa that ink i think it might be number 26 don't quote me on that but it's taisenji yellow um and yeah i think i also want oh no the other twizzy that came out was the chili the red one i don't have any red pens but i'm really on a red kick right now i don't know if it's tiktok's influence or like the resurgence of well not resurgence like the popularity of like the coquette aesthetic on tiktok and the internet and like sandy liang and the obsession with bows and like femininity um i don't know if this is all sounding like jargon but i'm on that side of tiktok where i see a lot of like things with just random bows on it and i think it looks super cool as uh i don't know i really like that aesthetic um, I can appreciate it without, you know, having to wear it or buy anything related to it, right? Um, but I don't know. I've just been seeing red everywhere. Um, and I think that's influenced me in a subconscious manner to be really into red right now. So, yeah. Um, I want the... That was all to say that I've been eyeing the Twisby uh, Eco Red. And then, obviously, the new one that came out, I think, is Creme. It's like an off-white one. All of the the neutral planner girlies, and also me, are going crazy about it. But I don't think I'm going to buy it because, yeah, I've let go of that Twisby Eco solid color Twisby Eco want, and now I am really content with what I have, which is a really good feeling. Um, now we are painting, so <laughs> I think I journaled off screen. Um, I just did this um, really fun blue and green themed collage um, and like journaling elements using the packaging from my leather tags from TRC, the bear leather tags. Um, That bear um, line for the holidays from Traveler's Factory was a limited um, run or release in Traveler's Company USA because we don't always get Traveler's Factory items and so when we have them, um, I try to snag them, but I actually realized that I had this already. So, like I said earlier, the brass bear charm I actually had in Canada, and I brought it back with me to um, SoCal, and so I ended up using the um, packaging. So you can see it right there. It's like that, like nice uh, blue green emerald color. Um, and this day was actually a day that I um, did a lot of coffee related stuff, and so I wanted to paint the origami coffee dripper that i used that day um and then this new mug that i have and it's all in like a blue theme 
Which again, I need to stop saying that I don't like blue because apparently I love blue now. <laughs> um, but I've been really embracing uh, that color palette. Um, for context, in 2024, I'm really going to focus on like primary colors. Like I said earlier, I've been really liking red and um, my love for blue has been on and off. Mostly off. But, <laughs> but I think I do like blue. I just don't know why I rig... I keep saying that I'm not a fan of the color blue. Um, just reminds me of my good friend, uh, Jasmine Replans. It's an inside joke that Jasmine loves blue uh, when in fact she doesn't like it that much. But I think she likes it now. Maybe we're in the same boat. Um, but yeah, this is just uh, time to say that um, Jasmine, my good friend, um, has started a YouTube channel. We uh, stream together. I don't stream on Twitch as much anymore. I do want to give that a try again in 2024 but um yeah go check out her channel because she's doing vlogmas and i really love vlogmas and speaking of vlogmas i've been really enjoying um this youtube uh content creator her username is feed Mamie, and she has a vlog called more Mamie. and i found her when my friend cat visited me um in socal and we were trying to find videos about disneyland and like what to eat at disneyland we came across her channel and she my friend cat watches um that channel already uh feed me me and then i got really into it and now i watch her regularly and now she has a vlog channel and she's now engaged to her boyfriend so now you know her and fiance her and her fiance are in um Taiwan and it's super fun to watch but that was a long-winded way to say that yeah I've been really enjoying that channel on YouTube and honestly guys I've been really into watching um planner videos I know that I don't do a lot of planner videos on my channel but I've been watching so many planner channels and I'm very fascinated by like planner culture I think because I I don't know i like to think that i make journaling and planning and like general like uh videos about stationery and like creativity but i think if you really boil it down to it like i focus more on journaling which for me i think journaling and planning are two very different things because journaling is very like um i guess more related to the past and reflection and documentation Whereas when I think of planning, I think of it more as like a forward looking thing. Like you are planning events, you are looking at things that are going to happen in the future and making plans for it. So I like to think that I fall more in the journaling documentation part of things. We'll talk more about planning and journaling in a little bit. I just want to share this little haul with you first. Okay, let's haul some stuff. So I bought a few things from work. Uh, just a disclaimer, I do have a discount, so that's awesome. And it makes me really happy. Um, but I would say that I definitely need to be more conscious of my spending because I can see myself spiraling in the future because of, I'm just buying random things from work. But uh, my coworkers like to... I was talking to my coworker Christina and she said that, you know, you're actually not that bad. Like you don't buy too much, which I like to say that's pretty awesome. Uh, maybe I'm just not comfortable yet. Like maybe a few months down the line, I'll be like, yeah, I'll buy all the things. Um, but I bought a few things from Traveler's Company. Um, I bought a passport size Traveler's Notebook um, for my white elephant. And um, I got another insert that I had at home the California road trip one um and I would say like now that the party has passed I think I was too excited to I really wanted to win it back but then I felt guilty I don't know when you guys play white elephant like I end up I want to be more like selfish but I end up wanting to like just keep the gift that I have instead of stealing because I don't want the person to think that the person you know that the gift that it came from like if i open someone's gift i don't want that person to feel like i don't want that gift because there's other gifts out there like i'm i i love it like i'm very easy to please um so like i didn't have the heart to steal back 
my passport travelers no fuck um and i would say like my friends aren't really the most stationary centric people but some of them knew it and like the people that were that didn't end up going to the party that i thought would like it didn't, weren't there so i'm like oh i guess no one's gonna steal it but i'm like the value is really good guys like we got a 30 dollar limit that's definitely over 30 dollars but that's just me being dumb and getting a gift that i would like instead of thinking of the majority i don't even know if the person that got it wants it maybe i should just tell them to sell it sell it back sell it back to me just kidding um anyways i digress um i got this bear um bear badge bear pin um from drc it's the brass one this one is a little bit pricey it's like 22 usd i'm i'm just being real um it's kind of pricey and i was like <laughs> i was talking to my coworker. i was like oh should i still buy this He's like just get it it'll look cute on a tote bag and i saw it on her bag and i'm like you know what christina i'm just I'm just gonna get one too <laughs> so i got that i got a pf candle company candle um which i showed earlier um it smells so good uh it smells really good i'm glad that i got it it's the golden coast one uh, i've been burning it um at home when i was still in socal really like it, it smells very um like woody but also very fresh like it has like a sea salt like evergreen vibe to it fresh but not too like uh sprucey but i do like the spruce candle from pf candle co really really nice actually um and then i got a uh to and fro so this is a traveler's factory exclusive item this is the to and fro passport size um kind of zipper pouch um i i have like multiple zipper pouches for my traveler's notebook i have the b-sides and rarities one and i also have um these leather these beautiful leather ones that i bought in korea from the time store which is now a partner shop um so happy for them um but yeah i thought i would try this out because they're known for their hummingbird leather no sorry um cloth material which is very lightweight and it does feel super lightweight um and then i bought two to and fro um organizer thingies they are like pouches for your traveler's notebook and they're again made with um to and fro signature fabric and oh my gosh i was um enabled to buy it because again same co-worker christina um her sister um had the pouch um protecting her traveler's notebook and something spilled in her bag and the pouch protected the traveler's notebook and i saw the picture i was like oh my gosh like everything else was like covered in um like the food sauce that spilled and i was like whoa the traveler's notebook is safe and i'm very clumsy um knock on wood but i haven't had like a coffee incident in a while usually my biggest problem is that coffee will explode in my bag because I accidentally didn't close my coffee tumbler properly. It's a, it's an ongoing thing. It happens like every single school year. Um, I think I've... Nope, it happened this year. It happened earlier this year in 2023 when I was still working as a teacher. Um, and yeah, I was like, oh, every year I get so nervous that my, my TN gets soaked. And it has gotten soaked. My black one has gotten soaked in coffee. And I was scared that I would get moldy. And it was a whole thing. It, my black traveler's notebook is fine uh, now, even though it's been a few years since that happened. Um, but I'm just paranoid now. So um, I bought one in both sizes. I definitely thought I would get both olive colors for these. But for the passport one, I got the blue one. And it's actually really cute. I really like this shade of like powder blue. Um, really up my alley in terms of the blue shades that I like. Um, and I bought the olive one for my regular size traveler's notebook. I don't think I'm going to use this all the time, but I think when I am going to work or going somewhere with, you know, my my lunch bag's pretty secure. But if I have my coffee tumbler within my backpack, I am going to try and put my traveler's notebook in um, one of these to and fro pouches just to keep it safe because I don't want it to get, you know, all 
coffee spilly um but i'm not gonna use it all the time because i love a good patina and scratchy travel there's no book with like a bunch of marks on it because that's the whole point of a traveler's notebook is to look weathered and used and well worn on in your travels and i like that aesthetic and that philosophy it aligns with you know my view on traveler's notebooks and so i'm gonna try and strike a balance between using a pouch coat like a pouch or a cover like this and just having my traveler's notebook <laughs> it's the word that I like to use, but I hate to use at the same time. It's, we're just raw dogging the traveler's notebook in the bag. It just sounds so. Yeah, we'll, we'll move on. We're not going to talk about raw dogging anymore because that just sounds inappropriate. <laughs> but yeah, that's my haul. Um, really enjoyed these pieces, and um, I got some happy mail. So let's look at that. I got some happy mail from my friend and co-worker April. It's so crazy to say that we're co-workers now, but April Penguins Creative went to Japan um, in November. In November, yeah. Um, and got us some goodies. Got the you know the work team some goodies. And she also asked me if I wanted something from Japan. And there were two things that I wanted. Actually, there was one other thing that I wanted that I thought, huh, I'll get this when I go to japan in the future manifesting that um and i wanted the uh, swiss army knife from travelers company it's like a special collab with victorinorix Vic victor victor norix vic i don't remember the pronunciation but you know what i mean the swiss army knife brand with the the cross logo um and i also wanted the travelers factory x tsl pouch and you can kind of tell i'm just gonna spoil it but april got me the pouch so i'm so happy i love travelers factory as you all know travelers company i'm a big fanboy um and i work for them and i'm still a fanboy um but i love tsl like it's such a quality brand it's still i think very expensive and i think it's worth the price but it is really expensive and so i try not to purchase too much from them but i do love it because the quality is amazing um so i got that as well as um some amazing inserts there's a half short trip insert this really cute sticker collection from starbucks reserve like these coffee theme stickers and i've wanted this insert for so long it's the arabica coffee insert from um, starbucks uh reserve Again, Starbucks Reserve has collaborated with Traveler's Company for many years now. Um, the last time I went to Japan was 2017, and I don't think the collaboration started yet. Like, I don't think that was a thing yet. Um, and I have been very, um, like, anti-getting the Starbucks collab stuff for some reason. Um, in my head, it feels more natural to buy it when you're there it's kind of like the kyoto one like all of my i think narita airport or travelers train or all of those like kind of location specific ones i've purchased in person except for the narita airport ones that i uh, bought more recently um that have the midori stamping in the back um which i you know i didn't buy i didn't go there to buy but all the other ones i bought in person and so I think I share that same philosophy with like the TSL Kurashiki one, which is like their new location where you can customize your traveler's notebook at TSL Kurashiki, which is the kind of flagship store for um, the superior labor. Um, and yeah, I think when I ever go to Japan in the future, which I'm sure I will, um, that's when I'll buy my Starbucks reserve one or my Kyoto edition one. Like I, I know I'll get that down the line like it's just a matter of when i visit because i feel like it'll feel more special to buy it when i visit in person and so i will do that when it happens and i'm manifesting that it'll happen in 2024 um but let's continue journaling let's continue journaling so we are continuing our journaling session obviously i've been journaling here and there but um still a little bit behind but we are journaling on december 13th 
and this was actually the night before i got on an airplane to go back to vancouver and um that day was really chaotic because i had a really busy work day and i was scrambling to get things done because um i do a lot of photos and videos for um work and there was new new products and stuff that needed to be photographed and there was you know other fun releases that we're working on for the next year that needed um you know certain things to be done before and so i was scrambling to get all that done to take photos and i didn't go to the office that day but i had to meet um another person for i'm trying to <laughs> be to be a uh, little bit more vague but beat around the bush but had to meet someone else and um take photos and videos at that location and then i got home and i uh really felt the need to clean um because it would be a shame to come back to a messy home so i cleaned up and then i was like i need to journal i just need to collage <laughs> so um i filmed my little like haul portion from my happy meal from april and then i was like okay let's do some journaling so all right um doing doing a lot of catch up but i thought the confidential pattern um from my edison um like gas no electricity bill looked really cool it's like a green pattern uh so i tore a little bit of that off and then the little logo from my bill just because i paid my bill that day and then i have um a return to sender stamp because some of my mail got shipped back to me and i thought the sticker was really fun it's yellow and has like a type writer typeface going on so i thought i would peel that off my mail before resending it and then i um got some carol capek um tea from um a friend and i would say like that's the brand for tea for stationary lovers um i haven't tried a lot of carol capek tea i know it's exclusively sold in japan i think you can get it in some american or canadian retailers but it's generally pretty hard to find and the tea is really delicious like i i gravitate to coffee a lot more but when i have tea um i remember how good it actually tastes uh i haven't been drinking a lot of hot drinks in socal i've been really into iced coffee and like even when i was about to leave for vancouver i think the highest temperature was still around like um 18 degrees so that's still pretty hot actually um i know it cooled down a little bit more when i left um for canada but that's still pretty warm for for me uh, i was still wearing like a shirt on most days when it was sunny and obviously wearing a toque or a beanie because i just want to feel the, the the winter vibes but ever since i've been home in vancouver it's been nice to like drink hot tea hot coffee and the layer i feel like my clothing style matches the colder weather more because i love wearing coats and hats and scarves and you know layering but that's okay um one thing that i did realize when coming back here is that vancouver is extremely gray and winters here are pretty like it, it's fun being back home but it's it's very like depressing <laughs> i forget how gray it is here um i would say that i struggle with like seasonal um just like i, I don't even want to say depression because that word does like i just feel my mood being very low when it's gray and i don't feel as happy and excitable as i usually am and so living in california when um around october or november rolled around i was expecting to kind of feel that way too but it was sunny every day and i'm like wow the vibes are great and i'm really happy still so um it's really helped me with my i don't want to say seasonal depression but yes yeah, seasonal sadness i guess um just because i would say that my symptoms are nowhere near as severe as true depression but i would say that my mood is definitely a lot lower when it's um 
winter in Vancouver. And so, yeah, that was my long winded uh, <laughs> ramble, <laughs> uh, which stemmed from the Carol Capec tea that we <laughs> we taped down. But that spread was very simple. Um, I think later on, uh, maybe even in a later journaling session, I actually ended up adding a little doodle and doing a little bit of watercolor painting on it. But um, yeah, very simple. And um, I ended up using smaller um, date stickers because as you can tell, I created a December daily um, like free printable. And you can see me drawing little squares everywhere of where I'm going to put the sticker because I didn't have a printer. So I'll print it when I get back in Vancouver. Uh, but we're now creating the journal spread for um, for the the haul that I got from April. Um, thank you again, April, for all the goodies. And so I wanted to stick all of the packaging that I carefully peeled off of the Happy Mail. And I love that grid wash that um, April used which has like a yellow with green grid lines. And then I also glued down the little TSL or the superior labor care instructions for the pouch. Um, I love the pouch and I ended up using it to store my traveler's notebook um, for my flight to Vancouver. I was going to use the to and fro pouch originally that I just purchased, but I was so hyped about having this lovely, um, pouch all the way from japan um in my hands and so i ended up bringing that with me instead and it's great because it really just just does fit a, a thick traveler's notebook like a very packed one with a lot of inserts and a little bit room up top to maybe put like a few pens but it's nice because it's very minimal and so if you're just traveling with your bare bone supplies i really recommend this like pouch uh, i think it's the consider the medium size for travelers um company travelers back um i took this out of my sticker release paper insert and i had um coffee at black dog coffee roasters that day and i put that sticker down i basically peeled it off of my iced latte cup um, which i always do if there's like a sticker on a cup or a coaster i'll always peel it off and put it in a sticker release um notebook because it's nice to save for when you get home and then again i'm using my pencil to mark down where i'm gonna put my date sticker and now in the uh, magic of being home in vancouver i am now home and i am now uh, using my printed printables so um again there are two sizes the regular size is the one that's free to everyone but for my patrons i on patreon i ended up making a smaller version of my december daily calendar i know because some people just use smaller sizes and so this is more handy for those people but i printed it out just because i um wanted to use it uh for december daily to have some options and this came in handy because um uh, for this two page spread uh, there's not a lot of room i didn't i realized i didn't a lot for a lot of space uh to add the the date stickers and so I ended up using the smaller ones that are kind of closer to the jobikuri which is again a play on words for the himikuri which is a kind of um, daily calendar that has designs on it um, i previously used um, a himikuri um, in 2022 um, but i ended up not using it in 2023 um, and i've created a lot of my own um, Joe Bickeries or Hemi Curries on Patreon because um, I really enjoy making them. It's actually quite fun. Um, and now we are on the 9th and I can finally stick this on. It's so nice to see how it actually looks on there. And when I was creating these journal threads, I actually didn't have the color scheme truly in mind. Um, so it's always a happy accident when it matches. So. For the tent that matches because there's like yellow um elements here and there and it's kind of cool to see how it looks like i'm not super you know big into um worrying if everything matches color wise but i do like it when it does match um 
like when there's a fun color palette that's cohesive but i also enjoy the chaos of just you know random stickers and colors clashing just because i don't know i think i was so restrictive with my color palette back in um like 20 i think 2010 to 2015 i was you know very into just black and white and gray and it was I, I don't I wouldn't say a problem like it's such a vibe looking back at my old photos but I was only wear black but I don't know I think I have some not PTSD but like I have some uh I guess thoughts and feelings about that um to this day and so I try to live a more colorful life now just because I don't know life's too short to like confine yourself to a palette in my opinion I love when people have a signature look and like you know a color palette that they only use like for me I'm aspiring to use more primary color palettes or a primary color palette more in my things but and I think it's cool when people have a limited palette but in general I'm trying not to limit myself to like just wearing black and white anymore uh, don't get me wrong I still love wearing all black but I'm trying to incorporate color because again life is colorful like life is full of color and there's trees that are green <laughs> there are trees that are green red roses too okay goes into a song number right now but yeah like there's a lot of color in the world and I want to embrace that and so I'm trying to do that in my clothing in my home goods and in my journal as well so um, I don't know I try not to overthink it um, but again sometimes I fall into old habits and I realize like oh everything needs to be in this one palette but nope it doesn't need to be Joe so that's a conscious thing that I'm trying to be mindful of still in 2024 because I don't want to limit myself but all that is to say that I just am enjoying color. Right now, I have my eraser, um, and I'm just erasing all of the pencil lines that I put earlier to put, um, uh, I guess, a little guide for me to know where my sticker was supposed to be put. Um, and it's pretty um, similar in size, but there's some that I use, again, smaller stickers, and so... I ended up using um, again the smaller stickers so there's a lot more pencil lines but um, I, I think overall it turned out all right and it wasn't too long of a process to do and then I am again back home so I have my full like stash of things and tools around me so I just use a brush to like even erase things which was nice and sorry to remove the like eraser dust lint which is super extra but it was very fun to use um and yeah um i think this was a nice touch because it made everything seem a little bit cleaner just because i had pencil lines everywhere and so it's nice to finally erase that um and yeah it was incredibly fun i think i spent one evening like i would say i would yeah probably like a good five hours in the evening just printing and formatting um stickers and my using my silhouette oh that was really fun so a silhouette is like a cutting tool um similar to a cricket uh, machine um so it was nice to like print you know the printables that i've made over the past few months um while i was in um, SoCal to finally print them off and use them in my journal so I spent like a good uh, evening doing that just printing and cutting using the silhouette cutter and it was so fun and I need to do one more of those sessions before I leave because um, I'm not gonna have my printer and access to a printer again which I think one of the things I do want to purchase when I get back is a printer I just oh guys like moving is so expensive and so my uh, home is still unfurnished in um in in socal so there's still like a lot of things that are um empty in my home but yeah i i'm trying to be okay with it because 
it's fine. It's expensive at times, but um, I know that um, it's better to truly buy the pieces that you enjoy and save up for it instead of getting a temporary fix and then having to, you know, repurchase it in the future. So I'm trying to have that mindset, but <laughs> if people visit, it's just a table and my bed. <laughs> And oh, oh my gosh, and I found a TV um, at a dumpster at work. One of my best finds. And it still works. I mean, I think the speakers are broken, but it's attached to... I brought my Roku from Canada that happens to have like sound on it. Um, like a little sound bar. And it works. And it works like an Apple TV, but with sound. Um, so the TV has a new life in my home. So thank you to whoever... Um, donated it or threw it away but when I was telling my co-workers oh, sorry my friends back in Canada about it when we had our little Christmas gathering they were like what if they were just moving I'm like oh shoot what if what if they were just moving but it was it was truly in the dumpster so um, it's fair game um, but yeah now I am going through my December uh, daily printable um, it's kind of like a printable kit. This is just a sticker format that I printed smaller. Um, and I'm just going through my journal and just finding different places to stick them on because I don't have any Christmas stickers. And so the ones that I drew, I'm just going to add to different existing spreads just to add a little bit more of a holiday vibe just because a lot of my spreads right now look very non-holiday-esque but that's okay um it's just the ephemera, ephemera that i had with me at the time and again i don't feel too pressured to not have all of the newest and greatest stickers to use so that's all right okay let's flip through my december daily journal as of christmas eve which is the time i'm recording this voiceover it's the calm before the storm we did some preparing the the table's ready food is being cooked i am up in my room recording this voiceover so i don't need to help cook just kidding um there's too many cooks in the kitchen right now so i'm just recording this but i just want to show you all the progress that i made so um i finished um the little spread for december daily day one with a little um like tip in thing that i use the tea pocket for that december day two had some watercolor illustrations which is fun and then day three um which is already done i just added more elements to it like the stickers and the two different sizes of the december daily tearaway calendar free printable there's a little crumpled washi which i've been liking the aesthetic of i added this little photo selfie of myself on the december daily day five because it was really hot that day um, this is December Daily Day 6, which we painted earlier in this journaling session. And I added this sticker over here from that day when I was shooting at work. And I have, again, the brew instructions for the um, origami dripper, which is what I have in this um, page that I drew. Um, on this page, the next spread, we have no journaling done. Um, and I used the tiny, tiny version of the December Daily Tearaway Free Calendar. Uh, this is... Oh, wait. That one's not the free one. The smaller one is on Patreon. Um, so go check out Patreon if you want this. Um, and there's more printables on Patreon, obviously, over the past year. Um, and then the 9th, we did some journaling um, earlier about this. And I added two photos and I used our december daily calendar this is from wingstop <laughs> i just tried wingstop um in december and it's actually really good i like the korean barbecue flavor um i added the stickers to day number 11 and 12 and day 13 is completed which i was working on earlier and added more stickers from my free no i think that might have been oh no that's from my patreon printable and then this spreads a little bit more random because I had extra stickers and I um, just put it all in one page over there. And then uh, this is day 14, which is my flight. And I just have a 
calendar covering my boarding pass because I don't think I blurred out my name and my information there. So um, there's that. And this is a continuation of that day because I printed a lot of photos of the food that I bought on the 15th. Um, I have a simple spread with a lot of photos. The 16th, even more photos. Um, and I think I have a blank page there. That, that was me drawing a... <laughs> A little uh, question mark because I didn't know what was going to go there. 17th, 18th, all of these are, you know, very plain. There's no writing. Um, I put a note for this day because I I think I was starting to forget already. So I already wrote something down just in case. And again, another blank page. And then later we'll count the blank pages so we can see how many pages we have left. And then for the 21st, um, I had some priority mail uh, ephemera that I wanted to use. The 22nd is empty, and then the 23rd, I peeled this um, ephemera off of my um, matcha latte that I got, and it's very cute. And we only have these many pages left. So there are about eight pages left, um, eight full spreads. And so there you go. Job telling you there's eight. Uh, so there's only eight left, and it's perfect because there's eight days left in the month. And it makes sense to have a full page spread for all of those days. Um, but like I was saying earlier, there's still a few blank pages. So there was one blank page at the back. And that's just a single page. Another single page there. So there's two. And a third single page. In total, we have eight spreads left. Um, so that means two pages um, for each spread. Um, which is perfect for the remaining days in December. And then we have three single pages left to use for other things like postcards, different ephemera. Um, I usually print out a lot of photos, so those can be little photo spots too. Um, so I think we're in good shape for the rest of December daily. But I actually wanted to show you because um, I actually added two extra little projects to my December daily because I went through my stuff when I got home and I realized I have these uncompleted pre-dated journals uh, that I just want to complete because I don't know I I know I shouldn't feel pressured to um, finish these guys because most of them have already passed but I just don't like seeing empty pages <laughs> that's why I have a, a lot of trouble with like um, getting too many dated uh, journals because if I can't complete them, I feel a lot of anxiety that they're incomplete. But this is actually um, from the beginning half of the year. This is my vertical weekly from Traveler's Company. I actually ended up giving the second half of this away to my sister, which she used as a planner um, because I wasn't successful in completing it. But I basically went in and found random pages that were empty. This only had some parts, but the basically the bottom half of this not in green lettering is basically um, free space so I just added these extra pictures that I had because I tried to print my photos and cut them on the silhouette but basically they all turned wonky uh, but I still wanted to use the photos they were just cut weirdly um, I reprinted and cut them properly for the actual December daily but here I'm putting all of the off cuts. See, you can see these are all uh, kind of like collage. They continue on to the next photo. So the cut made um, on the silhouette were just slightly off kilter. And so there's parts of the next photo that are actually part of the first photo when cut. And so it looks a little bit messy, but looks really cool when collaged. And so I thought I would use the remaining pages of this journal to just use up those photos and to just journal about my December again because I want to use the most of these inserts and then I have this passport size weekly insert from oh my gosh guys this is I think from 2021 and then I oh no maybe even earlier actually who knows how long this has been but this has gone through multiple iterations this was actually my weekly comic insert as you can see here i was doing this quite a bit like i would say for a good few weeks or even months i was doing it consistently but um i don't know i was flipping through it i was like there's all these blank pages we can just collage over it so i went through all the blank pages and i started in september and added you know different fun ephemera and different little 
bits and pieces here but you can see at the beginning that's the original purpose i think of this journal like a little weekly gratitude or daily gratitude and then i did some um weekly comics back in 2022 2021 and then in 2023 november i just collaged all this fun paper in here which i can do some journaling there or add a little collage i put um bits of postcards some note papers some extra stickers again from my off cuts from the silhouette um and that brings us here um to this like current mishmash of like large photos um and this is very busy looking to me but i don't mind it just because we are just using this um notebook up to fill up the pages and so i don't mind that it looks messy and the funny thing is the dates actually line up to the dates th for this december even though this is i don't know how many years back and it's not even in december i think that was june or july but the numbers made sense with the days of the week and so i ended up using that but yeah i basically now have three notebooks that i need to complete by the end of december and by the end of 2023 but i don't feel any pressure because this is all fun and usually at the um last week of december you know that limbo time in between christmas and new year i have a little bit more time so i'm gonna uh, dedicate a lot of time to journaling and getting creative and um yeah making the most of being back home and having my stationary desk back and um yeah i hope to share more of this with you in the future i know i haven't shared my techo kagi or planners or and journals for 2023 yet so i hope to do that and share that with you soon but until then i wish you a very merry christmas if you celebrate christmas and i wish you a happy holidays for everyone else please take care and be safe and i know again this time of year is always a little bit divisive so i hope you're taking time for yourself if this is not the best time of year for you but um i wish you all the best and sending you hugs and warm wishes this holiday season i love you guys so much thank you for the love and the support this year i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.